How's it going everyone? It's Kevin here, Movie Collector Maniac. I am going to show you another recent pickups. This one is actually my uh, Kino Lower order that I ordered uh, a while back. I finally got it in the mail about a week or so ago. Yeah, I just got around to making this video. I've been doing some other videos you've probably seen here recently. So yeah, Kino Lower had a sale going on not too long ago. And I placed an order. Spent a pretty good bit of money. Uh, but yeah, some of them actually were rang up higher than what it should have been. I think they jacked the price up right before the sale ended or something i don't know i got an email about that so anyway let's get into the video and see what i picked up all right first we have two days in the valley on blu-ray this one came with a slip cover i did previously own this one on dvd so this is upgrade to a blu-ray you got a lot of well-known actors in this one you got jeff daniels terry hatcher uh james spader eric stoltz charlie theron keith carradine michael ja white I actually paid 1992 for this one so this one was pretty high yeah for some reason some of these went up in price right when i paid for it i'm not sure if this one did or not i know a couple of them jumped up from 9.99 to like 1999 or something as far as that kino lover sale they had going on but yeah this one came out in 1996 uh probably hadn't watched this one in a while looking forward to re-watching that one next i have this alias jesse james from 1959 it's like a western but i guess it's a comedy because it's got uh bob hope in it ward bond because he plays in a lot of westerns but yeah i paid uh let's see 899 for this one yeah that's got a 6.4 rating so should be pretty good all right next we have the ballad of little joe from uh, 1993 on blu-ray uh yeah this is another upgrade from a dvd that i had it's got a 6.7 so it's pretty good on imdb but it stars uh Susie amos bo hopkins ian mckellen got heather graham in it paid uh 9.99 for this one it does come with a slip cover next we have bodies rest in motion from 1993 it's got a 5.7 so that's pretty decent i guess and you got the lovely phoebe cates got bridget fonda tim roth eric stoltz alicia witt peter fonda and i paid uh 8.49 for this one next we have the border with a uh, jack nicholson this one came out in 1982 it's got a 6.4 on imdb this is another one i had on dvd so i upgraded to blu-ray on this one it also starred uh, harvey Keitel. But yeah this one cost me 9.49 next we have the movie break heart pass uh with charles bronson came out in 1975 it's got a 6.7 this is another western movie adding this to my uh charles bronson collection let's see you got ben johnson he plays in a lot of westerns uh you got richard crenna of course you know him from the rambo gerald ireland that's uh actually charles bronson's real life wife got charles durning ed lauter anyway this one uh, cost me 9.99 next we have the movie uh breaking in this one stars uh burt reynolds so adding this to my Burt Reynolds collection. Got a 6.1 on IMDb. Not sure if I know any other actors in here. Uh, Harry Carey Jr. He's played in a lot of Western movies. Uh, Stephen Toblowski. He's played in a lot of movies. And this one cost me $9.99. Next we have the movie uh, The Bridges at Toko Ri. Uh, from 1954. It's a war movie got a 6.7 on imdb i don't remember watching this one yeah first time watch and it stars uh william holden grace kelly you got mickey rooney so it cost me nine dollars and 49 cents for this one this one does come with a slip cover all right next we have the movie clay pigeons this is another upgrade from a dvd that i had it came out in uh, 1998 it's got a 6.6 .6 rating it stars joaquin phoenix uh Scott Wilson, Vince Vaughn, Janine Garofalo, and this one cost me $9.99. Alright, next we have another Charles Bronson movie called Cold Sweat. This is from 1970, and it comes in a 5.7 on IMDb. This will be another uh, movie that will be a first time watch for me. So you got his wife, Jewel Ireland, playing in this one as well, and this one cost me $9.99. Next is the movie Convoy uh, from 1978. It's got a 6.3 on IMDb. I did have this on DVD, so this is another upgrade. Of course, you got uh, Chris Christopherson in this one. You got Ernest Borgnine, uh, Burt Young, Seymour Castle. And this one cost me $19.92 because this is one that was listed for $9.99. And I guess when I checked out, they had done up the price on it, I guess. I don't know what's going on, but 
I need to email them about it. Yeah, I ordered on the last day of the sale, so I don't know. And it was like up to the last <laughs> last hour, I guess. So they had already changed the price on it for some reason. So I need to email them about that and see if I can get some money back. But I don't know how that's going to go. All right, next we have another Charles Bronson movie. This is Death Wish uh, 5, The Face of Death from 1994. It doesn't have a great rating. It's only got a 4.9. But I owned all the other uh, Death Wishes on uh, Blu-rays. And, well, the first two I owned on 4K. I think two through four I actually have on, like, a Blu-ray multi-pack. But, yes, this was the only one I didn't own on uh, on Blu-ray or physical disc, I guess. And this one cost me $9.99 to complete my Death Wish collection. <laughs> all right, next we have the movie Face Off from 1997. This is a 4K a 7.3 on imdb this is one of my uh, one of my favorite uh nicholas cage movies along with uh, john travolta it also stars joan allen gina garchon and this was on sale for 17.99 of course this was an upgrade from a uh, blu-ray that i had and of course it's uh directed by john woo all right next is the the great train robbery it stars sean connery and donald sutherland from uh, 1978 uh, it's got a 6.9 on imdb and it says it's directed by michael crichton and he's also the writer i guess the same same one that wrote jurassic park and this one cost me 16.59 i think this is another one that jumped up in price on me i think it was supposed to be 9.99 also but yeah that one comes with a slip cover also all right next we have the movie the hunter with uh, steve mcqueen came out in 1980 this is another upgrade from a DVD that I had. And it's got a 6.2 rating. It's like the only other actor that I recognize is Ben Johnson and Tracy Walter. Eli Wallach sounds familiar, but that picture doesn't ring a bell with me. But uh, this one cost me $16.59. I think this was another one that was supposed to be $9.99. But this one comes with a slipcover also. Next, we have The Last Castle from 2001. It's got a 6.9. This is a 4K. And it stars uh, Robert Redford, James Gandolfini. Of course, he's more recognized from The Sopranos. You got Mark Ruffalo, Delro Lindo, Lindau. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Clifton J Collins Jr. And this one cost me $17.99. It's got a loose disc, so. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, make sure it ain't scratched or anything. Looks like it's okay. I don't see any scratches on it. And the Blu-ray looks okay, too. 4K disc was the one that was loose, actually. But, yeah, I think I had to get them to send me five new discs last shipment I got from them because they were scratched up. Uh, Thunderbolt and Lightfoot wouldn't even play when that was a 4K. All right, next is the last of the Dogmen. From 1995 this is another western movie uh, it's got a 6.9 this is one I do not remember watching it's possible I could have watched this one but yeah it stars Tom Berenger you got Barbara Hershey uh, Kurtwood Smith of course you know him from the 70s show Mark Boone Jr. I think that's the guy from Sons of Anarchy but yeah I paid $8.99 for this one all right, next we have The Last Tycoon from 1976. It's got a 6.2 on IMDb. This is one I do not remember watching as well. I did own it on DVD, but I guess I never got around to watching it. But it stars uh, Robert De Niro, Tony Curtis, Robert Mitchum. You got Jack Nicholson, Donald Pleasance, John Carradine, Seymour Castle, Angelica Houston. And this one cost me $9.99. Got a slip cover. Uh, so I did some my Robert De Niro collection. All right, next is the movie Lonely Are the Brave from 1962. This is another Western movie. Yeah, I don't think I own this on DVD. I think I owned it on my Voodoo digital account. I never got around to watching it yet, though. But I guess I'll watch it on Blu-ray right now. Uh, but it comes in at 7.6, so it's got a really good rating on it. It's from 1962. It is in black and white, looks like. But yeah, it stars uh, Kirk Douglas, uh, Walter Matthau, Carol O'Connor, George Kennedy, oh, Bill Bixby, Incredible Hulk. <laughs> this one cost me $9.99. All right, next is Mad Dog and Glory. This is another uh, Rob De Niro movie. It also has Uma Thurman and Bill Murray. 
from 1993 it's got a 6.2 rating this is another upgrade from a DVD that I had. So let's see. So we also have David Caruso. Of course, you know him from uh, CSI Miami. Mike Starr. I believe he played in Dumb and Dumber. Kathy Baker. Also starred Richard Belzer. Of course, you know him from uh, Law and Order SVU. He might, he might have been on the, the other regular Law and Order also. But So this one cost me $9.99. All right, next we have another Western movie called Man of the East. And it came out in 1972. It's got a 6.5 rating. It says it's also a comedy as well. So I guess it's got some humor in it. It stars uh, Terrence Hill. And there's Harry Carey Jr. again. I told you he plays in a lot of Westerns. So yeah, this was eight, $8.49 for this, this movie. All right, next we have the movie The Monster Squad on 4K from uh, 1987. Comedy, horror, fantasy movie. It's got a 6.9 rating on IMDb. Yeah, the only actor on here that rings a bell is Tom Noonan because he played the bad guy on uh, Last Action Hero with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Written by uh, Shane Black. And it cost me $17.99 to upgrade from a Blu-ray to a 4K. Next is another Western called Nevada Smith. Uh, from 1966 got stars uh, Steve McQueen comes with a slip cover got a 6.9 on AMDB I think this is another one I had on DVD so upgrade to a blu-ray you got Carl Malden Pat Hingle Martin Landau paid 9.49 for this one next is the movie the river from uh, 1984 it's got a 6.3 on IMDB stars uh, Mel Gibson Sissy Spacek and Scott Glenn. This one cost me $9.49 to upgrade from a DVD to a Blu-ray on that one. Alright, next is the movie Running Scared from 1986. Uh, 6.5 on IMDb. I did not own this on any physical media. So, I think I owned it on uh, my Voodoo digital account. Anyway, it stars uh, Gregory Hines, Billy Crystal. You got Joe Pantoliano, Dan Hedia, Jimmy Smith, a few well-known actors. This one cost me $9.99. Alright, next is the movie called Some Girls from 1988. It's got a 5.7 rating. I guess it's some kind of like romantic comedy. It looked kind of interesting. It's got uh, stars Patrick Dempsey, Jennifer Connelly. I mean, it cost $9.99. Alright, next we have the movie Staying Alive from 4K from 1983 yeah, it doesn't have a great rating it's only 4.8 on imdb but i thought i'd go ahead and add it to my uh, john travolta collection comes with a slip cover let's see you also got kurtwood smith from the 70s show on there and you got sylvester stallone's brother frank stallone on here and sylvester stallone actually was a co-writer on here and is also directed by Sylvester Stallone and I got this one for uh, $15.99 next is the movie Stick from 1985 this one stars uh, Burt Reynolds it's only got a 5.6 but that's should be pretty decent haven't seen this one before but I thought I had go ahead and add it to my Burt Reynolds collection let's see it also stars Candace Bur Bergen George Siegel Charles Durning this one is also directed by Burt Reynolds and it costs uh, $9.99. Yeah, next we have Tell Them Willy Boys here from 1969. It's got a 6.3 on IMDb. Another Western. It's a drama Western. Of course, it stars uh, Robert Redford. Got Catherine Ross. And this one costs $9.49. thought I read somewhere this one might be based on a true story, but I'm not sure. It doesn't really say on the information of the movie there. All right, we got another Western called Texas Across the River from 1966. It's got a 6.3 rating on IMDb. Also has comedies. I guess it's got some funny moments in it. Of course, it stars uh, Dean Martin, and this one costs $9.99. All right, next we have the movie To Live and Die in L.A. This is a 4K upgraded to my blu-ray came out in 1985 it's got a 7.3 rating it's a crime drama thriller it stars uh william pearson of course you know him from csi or csi las vegas uh so you got william defoe john Turturro, uh dean stockwell this one is 17.99 next movie is the white buffalo starring charles bronson this one came out in 1977 another western added to my collection it's got a 6.1 rating. I think this is another one I didn't own a DVD or nothing for. I think I might have owned it on uh, Voodoo. Let's see, it started Jack Warden. 
also he stars in a lot of western movies slim pickens he's another actor that stars in a lot of western movies you got ed lauter you got martin cove from uh the karate kid and cobra kai and this one was 949 add to my charles bronson collection and my western collection all right last one is will penny from 1967 another western got a 7.1 rating star of uh, charlton heston you also have donald pleasance lee majors uh bruce dern he's plays in a lot of westerns too there's uh ben johnson again and slim pickens you got clifton james anthony zerby he's been in a few westerns of course he was uh in the tv show the young riders also another great western show and this one costs 9.49 so yeah that's all my pickups for kino over i would have probably bought more but i didn't want to spend even more money anyway if you hadn't done so already please hit a uh, like button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel I really appreciate it let me know in the comments down below if you've seen any of these movies or if you like any of these movies and i'll see y'all on the next video thanks for watching